Hello guys, welcome to Win Academy. If you want to feel the new fragrance of education, then let's join the Win Academy YouTube channel by subscribing it. From this video, we are about to start a new series that is a daily kind of ads session from today onwards, that is September 1st, 2019. With this series, we are about to explain the detailed kind of ads of the daily news and the explanation will be given along with the kind of ads. So please do watch it and we have the regular to this channel so that we can get the updates daily. Let us start. The first kind of fire for today is uh, Tokyo has become the safest city in the world as per the Safe Cities Index 2019. Yes, one of the organization called Economic Intelligence Unit which was based in London has been given the report with the name called Safe Cities Index 2019 which has ranked 60 countries uh, all over the five continents and they have measured the safetyness of the cities on the basis of five important points that is digital security, infrastructure security, health and person security. These are the four indicators which have been taken for the considering of the safetyness of the cities. In that list, Tokyo, which is the capital of Japan, has become the safest city in the world as per this report. Remember, we have to got the two cities from India in this list. Mumbai has ranked 45th safest city in the world and Delhi has stood at the position of 52nd in the world. Remember, 60 countries have been listed in this ranking out of which the capital of Japan Tokyo has been named the safest city in the world next Donald Trump the president of India uh, the president of United States of America has declared space command which is in short called space com it is the space command which is about to control the space things in the future as we all know that in the month of February this year, Donald Trump, the president of USA has been declared sixth wing of a sp sixth wing of army that is a space force. Remember, so far we have been known about army, navy, air force, marines and coast guard. These are the five wings of the army of uh, United States of America. But in this year, 2019 of February month, uh, Donald Trump has declared that uh, there will be one separate force uh, which can be used to safeguard the space things of the USA in the spaces. That's why space force will be coming implement after the space command will come into control. Next, the Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry has launched Angikar campaign which has been aimed to bring the beneficiaries of three important schemes that is Pradhan Mantri, Avas Yojana Urban and the Ujwala scheme that is Pradhan Mantri, Ujwala Yojana and the Ayushman Bharat. Remember this is the campaign by the name called Angikar has been kept to bring out the beneficiaries of all these three major schemes by government of India. In short, what is the main objective of this campaign? Nothing but to bring up the beneficiaries of all these three important schemes under one umbrella that is Angikar campaign. As we all know that uh, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana scheme urban, it is a scheme of the housing for all in the urban areas. And Ujwala scheme is the scheme for providing LPG connection for every household in the country. And Ayushman Bharat scheme is the health insurance scheme and which is now called as Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. The main objective of this Angikar campaign is to bring out all the beneficiaries under one umbrella that is Union Housing and Urban Affairs Minister. Present this ministry has been upheld by Hardeep Singh Puri, who is a Rajya Sabha MP from Uttar Pradesh. Next, one of the major announcements of the Government of India is uh, the Government of India has announced uh, the mega merger of 10 public sector banks into 4 banks. Yes, you heard it right that uh, 10 public sector banks are now merged into 4 banks. Recently, you might have seen there was a merger of Bank of Baroda, Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank. Now, there are the uh, some more mergers. Oriental Bank of Commerce and United Bank with Punjab National Bank. These three banks will be collectively called as uh, one national bank. And Kenra Bank and Syndicate Bank will be collectively merged into one bank. 
and third one union bank of india andhra bank and corporation bank all these three banks will be merged into one bank and indian bank and allahabad bank will be merged into one bank all these 10 public sector banks will be merged to form four banks remember till date we have 27 public sector banks if this merger come into force then we will have 12 public sector banks in india our finance minister nimala sitaraman has declared this merger next rajiv goba take over as the new cabinet secretary very important one remember who is the present cabinet secretary of india rajiv goba rajiv goba was previously home affairs secretary now he is the new cabinet secretary of india and who is the present home secretary of india ak bhalla ak bhalla is the present home secretary of india whereas rajiv goba is the new cabinet secretary Cabinet Secretary is the highest post in the administrative section of the executive officials of IAS officers. In short, he is the head of all the administration of India in the executive council. Next, Oleksiy Honkakur is the Ukraine's new Prime Minister. Ukraine is a small country in Europe. This country has previously got its new president who is a comedian by profession, Vladimir Zelensky. Vladimir Zelensky is the new president of Ukraine who has appointed Oleksiy Honkakur as the new Prime Minister. Government is about to set up 12,500 Ayush centers across the country. First of all, we have to know what do you mean by Ayush. Ayush is the separate ministry by the name called Ayurveda, Yoga, Unani, Siddha and Homeopathy. It is a traditional way of treatment of diseases which has been set up in the, in the year of 2014 by our Narendra Modi and he has been told that we are about to set up 12,500 Ayush centers out of which 4,000 centers will be set up in this year itself. Justice Harish Chandra Mishra has been appointed as the acting chief justice of Jharkhand High Court. These appointments are very important. Why? Because recently the acting, the acting chief justice of Jharkhand High Court, Mr. Prashant Kumar died in his place. Justice Harish Chandra Mishra has been appointed in his place by President of India. Remember, as using the article 223 of constitution of india our president of india has the right to appoint chief justice of high courts next there was one report released by united nations population fund which is one of the wing of united nations unfpa has the headquarters at new york usa this population wing of United Nations has released a report with a name called World Population 2019 in which it has been released that India is having the population of 1.37 billion in 2019 which is about one sixth of the world's population and the world population in 2019 is 7.71 billion and the growth rate in India is 1.2 percentage per year when compared to 2010 and 2019 next Uttarakhand government has decided to set up a special tiger force for Corbett Tiger Reserve where is Corbett Tiger Reserve the Corbett Tiger Reserve is in the state of Uttarakhand remember Jim Corbett National Park Jim Corbett National Park is the India's first and the oldest national park in India which was established in the year 1936 but the name called Haley National Park. Later on it has been renamed as Jim Corbett National Park. This state government of Uttarakhand has made special tiger force to combat the human intrusion to combat the tiger poachers in this tiger reserve. Remember Jim Corbett Tiger Reserve is the place where the recently episode of man vs wild which featured Narendra Modi was entirely shooted in this Corbett Tiger Reserve only. The entire episode was screened and shooted in this Jim Corbett National Park of Uttarakhand itself. Uttarakhand capital Dehradun. Uttarakhand CM 
त्रिवेंद्र सिंह रावत उत्तराखंड प्रेजेंट गवर्नर बेबी रानी मौर्य उत्तराखंड हैज फेमस नेशनल पार्क जस्ट लाइक वैली ऑफ फ्लॉर्स नेशनल पार्क राजाजी नेशनल पार्क जिम कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क गंगोत्री नेशनल पार्क गोविंद पशु विहार नेशनल पार्क रिमेंबर ऑल दिस नेशनल पार्क आर इन उत्तराखंड एंड वन मोर थिंग इंडिया सेकेंड हाइएस्ट माउंट माउंटेन दट इज माउंट नंदा देवी इज इन उत्तराखंड इट सेल्फ रिमेंबर ऑल दिस इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रैटिक पॉइंट्स ऑफ उत्तराखंड दैट्स इट गाइज इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी हैव ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ फर्स्ट सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन आई होप यू लाइक दिस कंटेंट इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल विन अकेडमी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर अपडेट्स एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग